Well, I'm on the farm today, kind of uh, picking up where I left off on the last video with the mighty uh, Massey Ferguson 1105. And I got it hooked up to the John Deere 335. And, and what we got to do here is a couple things. Uh, one of them is I want to put some new twine in it. But uh, moreover, I got to work on the knife. It's not to retracting and it's blocking the uh, the the twine arm so I got I got a little bit of work to do there just to make this baler actually work but I also need to go through and grease everything and uh, kind of clean things out a little bit so I won't show you the nitty-gritty of all this but uh, I'll kind of uh, bring you along a little bit for the ride and hopefully when I get done uh, I can Turn it on and run run the belts and I can make sure that knife uh, moves and the uh, duck bill That's what I call it on the twine on the the, the twine knife uh, Actually works so uh, let me let me continue on here and I'll come back so as you can imagine uh, the this baler, I don't think it's been used in a few years, maybe longer than that. I really don't know, but the mice have been uh, kind of busy in here, chewing around, and uh, so they've uh, chewed this uh, twine, and uh, I don't know, this twine, all this twine is probably okay. But I thought from the get-go, I'd uh, kind of pull it out and start over with some new twine so that as I kind of go along and troubleshoot this this baler as I kind of try to get it up to speed. Uh, one thing I can rule out is crap twine. So uh, let me kind of sweep out these uh, twine boxes. And then I'll come back. So I got that cleaned out as best as I can. And uh, I'm not going to throw any of that old twine away. It's probably okay. But a lot of people would put a pressure washer on this uh, baler and, and the rest of their equipment. I just can't bring myself to uh, use a hose. It's rare that I put a hose on my equipment. And uh, I, I just can't bring myself to put a... You know a pressure washer on a piece of equipment just because I fear the water being pushed into the uh, into you know into some bearings so it is what it is so let's uh, let's get this uh, new box of twine open Nothing fancy about this twine. Uh, this came from Tractor Supply. And uh, I'm just going to load two bolts of twine in here. I think there's differing opinions on what kind of twine you ought to use, whether you use uh, this 2110 or you know something else but this is what was in in the uh, baler so you know that's what I'm going to use so um, this end of the twine was chewed off and of the, of the other balls of twine so I'm going to uh, I'm going to uh, I'm going to tie it tie it up and use this one hopefully to pull it all the way through to the uh, to the twine knife, and uh, and then I'll uh, tie these balls together. So let me come back. All right, so I got the uh, twine ball tied in and pulled through. You can see the difference in the color of the twine, maybe, but uh, I need to pull that on down to the uh, twine arm. And then note to myself when you put the twine through 
there's a ceramic ball it needs to go through. I had to cut this one and do it again, but I'll tell you, uh, you know, in my day job, uh, like I say, uh, like I like to joke, uh, I'm a hotshot engineer, and uh, I have a really good job, and I've always had a good job as an engineer. Sometimes it gets a little tedious, but uh, I have to tell you, uh, I'm up here uh, by myself, and uh, it's cool. I can hear the creek rolling uh, down through there, and uh, it's just really peaceful up here, and uh, this is working on this baler is just very relaxing and uh, it's hard to explain if you're a farmer uh, you can you probably know exactly what I'm talking about that's not to say that you don't pull your hair out uh, when you're farming but uh, I'm enjoying uh, this evening here uh, let me keep going so I think I got the uh, knife working and uh, and I'm trying to get the drive line greased up. Uh, the weather guessers uh, calling for some thunderstorms. I can hear some thunder over on the other side of the mountain over there. Figures I drag out a piece of hay equipment and uh, a thunderstorm crops up. But I've got my tablet here, uh, my iPad tablet, and uh, I downloaded the operator's manual for this baler. And I'm just kind of going through and greasing everything up it's pretty simple it's actually right simple uh this baler com compared to the complexity of a square baler uh you know this is this is not bad at all uh and certainly takes up a lot less space in the barn are we going to round bales no are we going to make some round bales we're going to make some round bales and see what the market holds for them one thing i don't fully understand and anything I'm doing on this baler, any of you guys that have the 335, 375, 330, uh, any of these balers, I don't know, the 446, 447, 448, I don't know how similar they are to this baler, but, uh, you know, any tips and tricks you guys know, uh, I'd appreciate it in the comments. Uh, so I'm not uh, uh, driving this thing off a cliff once we get going. One thing I do not understand is the purpose of this thing right here. It doesn't hook into anything. It just kind of gets in the way. But I don't know. Maybe it's supposed to keep the door from uh, slamming back shut. But it looks to me like it ought to be to hold the door in the first place. But I don't see any bracket or anything for this thing to hook into. It just flops down and there it is. If anybody knows what that's for, I'd be curious. It's probably in the manual, but I don't remember. All right. So uh, the rain is starting to come. The sprinkles are coming. I can see the rain. Now that thing gets in the way. And I don't need it. The rain's here. And uh, I can hear the thunder. But I can see the rain coming. What will happen is that mountain over there will just disappear. And... Uh, See, this is unbelievable. I think the purpose of that rod down there is to irritate the owner of the baler. I'm not sure what other purpose it could be. So, we'll uh, try again when it clears off. So, appreciate you watching. Uh, hit the like subscribe button multi-part video so so let me get this thing in the dry and we'll pick it up uh, again here and uh, maybe tomorrow